I get it. You want to dust supercars at the stoplight. I mean, that's what dreams are made of. Just making an unsuspecting Maserati cry or making that fool in a Ferrari wonder why he spent so much. And you're gonna love these eight badass sleeper cars that can be built to rival $100,000 plus supercars. And these cars are guaranteed to surprise everyone with all the unexpected power that they bring to the table. And at a fraction of the price of what a supercar is gonna cost you. And if you're new here, I'm Brad Danger. This is Ideal. Please subscribe, turn on that notification bell and buckle up and let's go. Now, before we dig into these incredible cheap sleepers, I wanna thank today's amazing sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Okay, and I am not the biggest gamer, but Raid is super fun to play and you can play it anytime, anywhere. Plus, it's free to play on both mobile and desktop. And there's 10 crazy challenging dungeons to conquer, each with terrifying bosses to beat. So only those of you with the most ideal strategy are going to be able to claim victory. So use the link down below to download Raid yourself. Now there's 13 different factions to build champions from. And with over 200,000 active clans, there's plenty of action for you and your friends. I mean, there's 25 million people competing right now worldwide. And my favorite part of Raid Shadow Legends is definitely the PVP. I just love the arena aspect of it, and I can't stop playing. Plus, last month, Raid released their biggest update ever and added the new Doom Tower with over 120 floors of secret challenging rooms and 12 ridiculously cool bosses to challenge you guys. So support the guys that support Ideal and have fun doing it. And go download Raid Shadow Legends by hitting the link in the description and you're gonna get 50,000 silver, 50 gems, five mystery shards, one day XP boost, one energy fill, one clan boss key as soon as you get into the game. And all those cool bonuses will be right here when you start playing. And check out this cool champion you're gonna get for free. Now, the rewards will only be in your inbox for the next 30 days. Yeah, that's it. So you're gonna wanna get them before they're gone because once they're gone, they're gone. So click the link down in the description to download and it really is that easy to have a ton of fun. Thank you Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video. Back to the show. So your typical conversation about high powered street vehicles usually doesn't include the name Mazda. You see, this Japanese automaker is best known for making budget entry vehicles that are fairly reliable. But there is this one member of the Mazda lineup that just can't be overlooked. And it comes in a sedan variant. It's called the Mazda Speed 6. And yes, I agree with you. It may not look like much with the average commuter car exterior, but believe me, it's got a scary secret under that hood. Yes, a 2.3 liter direct injected turbocharged four that spits out 274 horsepower stock. And when that power goes down to the all wheel drive system, hmm, things are gonna get interesting. <sighs> Yes, the Speed 6 can hit 60 in just 6.2 seconds. And yes, I agree with you, that's not gonna blow the socks off of any supercar owner, at least when it's stock. But believe me, that boost has tuners grinning ear from ear because a lot of these things have been built into well over 600 horsepower or more. So yeah, that means that this unassuming mom car could uh, show its taillights to quite a few supercars someday. And yes, they are kinda rare, but we were able to find this low mileage example with a manual transmission for just nine grand. And guess what? It already has a bunch of good mods done to it. So it's ready to hang with a Lambo day one. And if you sprinkle on a little extra something something, you'll be able to live your life a quarter mile at a time. And objects in your rearview mirror will be losing. And next up on our list is a legendary sleeper wagon that came all the way from Sweden to dominate supercars. I'm talking about a Volvo. And not just any Volvo, the V70. And yes, <laughs> I know exactly what you guys are thinking. There's absolutely no way this super safe mom wagon could possibly compete with a supercar. And that's why it's a sleeper, baby. No one in their right mind is gonna expect you to slam on the gas and just start burning rubber in your unassuming V70R. And sure, 
I agree, you probably aren't gonna score many points with the ladies in your Volvo wagon. But if you're all about performance, which I know you are, the V70R might just be for you. Available only in all wheel drive, the V70 has got about 300 horsepower in the R trim and will scoot from zero to 60 in 6.5 seconds. But I know you, and you're gonna spend a little bit of time under the hood. And once you do just a couple of modifications, you're looking at four, even 500 horsepower. And that's gonna surprise any supercar owner and well, you'll probably be able to leave them in the dust. And that's all while you have room for all your friends and all your crap in the back. But uh, just be careful if uh, you get sideways. And you could have your very own 2006 V70R with just about 75,000 miles on it for 7,500 bucks. And I gotta say, that is an ideal deal. And if you wanna learn how to buy it like a pro, well, go check out the strategies. And if you're completely repulsed by the V70 styling, well, that is kind of the definition of a sleeper. But regardless of how powerful it can be, the next car on this list is a bit sleeker. Okay, listen up guys, because at first glance, you might mistake the Mercury Marauder for the Ford Crown Vic. But once anyone sees the Mercury badge on the front grille, they're gonna assume that you're packing as much horsepower as a Mitsubishi Mirage. But the joke's on them, not you, because you own a Mercury Marauder, and this thing's got a naturally aspirated 4.6 liter dual overhead cam V8 that makes a more than respectable 302 horsepower and 318 foot-pounds of torque. Now, that is a hell of a good start for a platform. that once you throw a couple aftermarket goodies and a dyno tune, and plus maybe forced induction because, well, it is a good old American V8, well then your Marauder is gonna be making 500 plus horsepower with ease. And it's gonna be a drag demon that actually rivals supercars. Now, the secret is kinda out with these things, and people are realizing the sleeper potential of these cars, and so the market price has been jumping and it's on the up and up over the past couple of years. Although, I got your back for just under 10 grand, which is a lot, but hey, these things are pretty rare, and this one does have under 120,000 miles. You can get this pseudo cop car with sick horsepower that actually might go up in value. I mean, what else could you ask for? A super under the radar, super fast, donut special. That is the Mercury Marauder in a nutshell. But what if you want something a little bit different? Still American, with a bit more style than the Marauder. And well, remember these are sleepers, and this next car has absolutely ludicrous tuning potential. The old school Eagle Talon TSI isn't quite as stylish as a modern Porsche 911 or a classic Challenger. It kind of got caught in that weird 90s period where most mid-priced cars were pretty boring to look at. But if I do say so myself, I think that the Talon TSI has some style points on the other cars on this list. It's definitely something that you don't just yawn at as it goes by. And if you can get one with those pop-up headlights, <laughs> Man, you have an instant classic and an instant sleeper on your hands. And the Talon has a pretty unique and kind of weird backstory because it's basically the result of Chrysler Corporation rummaging through the parts bin and throwing together a car that, well, uh, just is awesome. And no, we're not talking about the base Talon. That's a complete snore with a wimpy 92 horsepower 2 liter 4 banger. You see, we're talking about the Talon TSI with that 2 liter turbo and all wheel drive, which is a serious piece of machinery, especially that first generation that was unveiled all the way back in 1990. And the TSI trim was offered with either a four speed automatic transmission or a five speed manual, which if you want to help save the manuals, go check out our best selling Ideal T. And for the first couple of years, 195 horsepower was put under your foot, but then in later models, it was bumped up to 210 horses. And so stock 60 came in 6.6 .6 seconds and you could hit a top speed of 150 miles per hour. But the car's got some serious racing chops and the solid engineering of the Talon TSI makes it so you can tack on performance mods until supercars are tasting your exhaust pipe. No, seriously, some absolute madman built a 1200 horsepower Talon. That's damn near Bugatti numbers. Now, how much does a Talon TSI cost? Well, first off, you have to be able to find one because they're pretty much impossible to find. And then finding one in good condition with a five-speed manual, well, that's pretty much a unicorn. But if you want the ultimate sleeper, well, budget anywhere from 15 to $30,000. 
but if you don't mind swapping in your own five speed manual and one that's gonna need a little bit of work, you can find autos for under 10 grand. And then you can modify that thing to your heart's content and maybe even four figure horsepower numbers. Now, next up is an American car with some amazing history and power ready for the Grand Prix. Well, maybe not exactly, but the Pontiac Grand Prix has been around forever. The first model, it rolled out in 1962 and it's the perfect embodiment of a classic car. And then the models that came out in the mid seventies were pretty slick and definitely one that I could see myself driving at some point. And then in 1988, they rolled out with the, uh, fifth generation, which was, how do I say it nicely, considerably less cool. But we're not talking about style, we're talking about performance people, and the Grand Prix GXP, which it first came out in 2005, has plenty of that. One peek under the hood and you'll find the legendary LS4 V8. And what that means is it's a 5.3 liter active fuel management engine based on the LS1 block. And so the GXP is capable of sending 303 horsepower through a four speed automatic transmission with flappy paddles, kind of the first of its kind called tap shift. And so yes, for the early 2000s, this car might be kind of overpowered just off the shelf. And that's because it's a uh, front wheel drive. But if you can get over that, it's actually pretty nimble. And if you want a front wheel drive monster, well, it's pretty much the ideal platform to start with. Pontiac GXP tuners are getting over 500 horsepower out of these front wheel drive sleepers. And the GXP isn't too hard to find online. And it's certainly not expensive. In fact, check out this 2006 GXP that we just found for seven grand. And it has just a tick over 100,000 miles on it. And the fact that this thing has so much aftermarket support means that if you go looking for more power, well, you're gonna find it. But if you want a hidden gem that's even more affordable than the GXP, and it's a ton of fun to drive, well, look no further than the Ford Taurus. Say what? Yeah, if you were getting worried that like most of the cars that we were gonna suggest were old, well, this one isn't. You see, the Ford Taurus show is from this decade and it's still an affordable sleeper. And no, it doesn't look like a supercar slayer per se, but I definitely wouldn't call it ugly and I wouldn't kick it out of my own garage, but the show isn't your typical Taurus. Under the hood, you got a 3.5 liter dual overhead cam V6 with twin turbos, and it's cranking out a whopping 365 horsepower. Yeah, that's a horse for every single day of the year. And in terms of handling, yes, it is a large and tall sedan, but the all wheel drive traction systems keep the car glued to the ground and make it feel super stable. And the driving experience is pretty ideal. Plus it has a pretty impressive interior and a whole bunch of tech features. And I know why you guys are here. You wanna build your show into a bloodthirsty supercar slayer. Well, people have modified these bad boys to over 600 horsepower. And as you probably expected, the Taurus show is a bit more expensive than some of the other cars on this list, but it is still pretty affordable. Here's one that's just a decade old with 100,000 miles on it for eight grand. And if you're more into having something like a Swedish sleeper, well, this one's been kind of forgotten by the world and we here at Ideal are ready to bring it back. And yeah, we're talking about Saab, the Swedish automaker that went bankrupt in 2011. But this auto manufacturer didn't just fade into the atmosphere without contributing some awesome sleepers to the world. And the Aero, well, it is a performance version of the base 9.5. And this car was built to embarrass cars that are way more expensive. And the 2003 version had a whole 250 horsepower emanating from a 2.3 liter straight four. But these numbers kept getting boosted in subsequent versions. And in 2006, the Aero gained another 10 horsepower. And the final version of the Aero in 2011 had a 2.8 liter V6 and the Swedish sleeper got upgraded to 300 horsepower. And you guessed it, the Aero is yet another fantastic platform to build your very own high horsepower land rocket. With some people getting these guys up to 500 horsepower and beyond. And to sell one of these to your parents is pretty easy because the 9.5 Aero is also known as one of the safest cars built in the 2000s. Because as we learned from Volvo, the Swedes don't mess around when it comes to safety. So you can have peace in mind when you blast off to Mach 5. Now the 03 Aero was front wheel drive with a five speed manual transmission, which would be replaced with an automatic in later years. But every version of this car is an absolute blast to drive. And best of all, no one will ever expect that much power from a Saab. And the next car is Japanese and it is a sleeping giant that's ready to just rip 
past supercars. And it's ready to do so in some old school classic style. Now, here's a car that you could pass a million and one times on the road and have absolutely no clue what it is if you don't know what it is. I don't know if that makes sense, but well, let me just explain. You see, the Mitsubishi Galant VR4, it's got some old school style. And if you're into that sort of thing, it definitely looks like a sleeper with that generic 90s styling, but don't get it twisted because the VR4 is anything but average. The range topping version of the Galant was offered from 1988 to 1992, and it was originally built to comply with Group A homologation regulations for the WRC. Yes, it's pretty much a race car for the street. And so eventually, the Japanese Beast was released to the streets as a way for Mitsubishi to flex their performance capabilities. And the result was a humble looking sleeper that you can have for cheap. And get this, VR4 stands for Vicious Real-Time Four-Wheel Drive, which I don't really know what that means, but it's got something to do with the dynamic four steering system that Mitsubishi introduced to make the VR4 rally ready. And this sixth gen Galant VR4 is capable of revving up to 195 horsepower and hitting speeds of 130 miles per hour stock. And since it's a rally car, you know, and because this thing is boosted, you know that those numbers can be pushed even higher. Drop in a turbo and you'd be looking at 500 horsepower easy. Oh, man. And while the Galant VR4 may look basic and homely, this is a badass Japanese dragon ready to burn some supercars. Unfortunately, they are pretty rare. And if you manage to find one, it's probably gonna run you 10 to $12,000. So let us know down below in the comments, what is your favorite sleeper? And on your way down, please hit that like button because we wanna know if you enjoy this type of content so we can make more of it for you guys. I mean, sleepers are really cool and there's a lot of different options that we covered on this list. So I can't wait to hear your guys' thoughts. And if you are new here, please subscribe and turn on that notification bell. We come out with awesome edutainment car content pretty much every single day. And it's a lot of fun making this stuff for you guys. And so we hope that you guys enjoy it. Oh, and as always, keep living the ideal lifestyle.